the oasis on the bluff overlooking the Wilmington River, that's now home to Bonaventure Cemetery, has been the subject of numerous artists, both past and present. The City of Savannah's Municipal Records and Archives Division, most recent Hungry for History lecture, explores the fascinating history and art of Bonaventure. This painting is in the Jepson Center right now, it belongs to the Miller Collection in Atlanta, uh, and is the earliest surviving painting that I know of of Bonaventure, and it's called A Stroll Through the Arcade, Savannah, Georgia, dated, um, we think it's 1838. Uh, and if so, it dates to Bonaventure's later years as a plantation. Of course, the most famous piece of art to come out of Bonaventure, and one that has changed the face of Savannah, is Jack Lee's iconic photograph, Midnight featured on the cover of John Barron's best-selling book, Midnight, in the Garden of Good and Evil. As the light began to fade, he saw her, Sylvia Shaw Judson's bird girl, who was a garden statue and possibly one of the only markers not originally meant for a grave. Even though he was quite familiar with the cemetery and had many close family members, including his mother and father, buried there, he had never seen her before and knew nothing about her except for that she was perfect for the image that he wanted to make. With one click of a shutter, he produced one of the most famous photographs ever taken by an American and changed the course of his own life forever. You can learn much more about the history and art of Bonaventure by watching the full lecture on the city's YouTube page. You can also visit the Telfair Museum's exhibit, Bonaventure, a historic cemetery in art, now through September 23rd. Check their website out, telfair.org, for more information.